yesterday we had our first boxing match here at The Rock. We had a boxing ring right on stage here. We had 16 amateur fights. Now I know some of y'all thinking, why would we have a stage in the church and all the fighting? And well, one, we fight the devil every time we walk in this building. So uh, there's always a fight. And prayer and hope and goal is that we're gonna fill this place and have MMA fights right here in the cage or whatever and just pack this place out with non-Christians and get the gospel. And a hundred people, I got up and shared the gospel between, I don't know, I don't know which fights in the middle of the day. And I got up and shared the gospel. We had about a hundred people get saved at the boxing match. Amen. We start to think that we're good. And then we start to look at people who are not, who we think are worse than us. We see them as bad. And we forget that we're all bad. And that we're all sinners. And before God, we're guilty and deserving of death. So you think you need your friends, you think you need money in the bank, you think you need all this, and all that's good and fine, but all you need is God. You know that verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. A lot of people don't mean, you think that means that you can do anything you want if God strengthens you. That's not what it means. What that verse means is that as long as I trust in God, I will be able to handle anything he puts in front of me. How many of y'all, you just think about it, don't respond, I want you to think that God has been trying to speak to you and you're hard-headed. Whether you've got a t-shirt or, or, or a tie, it don't matter. You're still a sinner. And it may look different, but it's still the same. And God wants to know, are you ready to trust me? Are you ready to give your life to me? And what is it going to take? Am I going to have to send you to jail? Am I going to have to get you strung out on drugs? Am I going to have your family leave you? Whatever. But why are you, you going to wait that long? Why don't you just let me have your heart now? We want to give you an opportunity to say, Lord, like Paul did, what do you want me to do to say that to God? 